From the following list of ordered pairs, select the y-intercept and show its location on the coordinate plane grid. 3, 0, 4, negative 2, 0, negative 3, and negative 1, 4. Mark your answer on the coordinate plane grid on your answer sheet. So the coordinate plane grid on your answer sheet will look like this. I just put it next to the question for this video. All right, so for anything where you need to graph something and they don't show you the graph, it might be helpful for you to draw one quickly during the test. All right, so you start with these two lines. This is your x-axis, and this is your y-axis. And then you look at how high the numbers go to see if you should skip any when you're labeling them, like go by twos, go by fives, something like that. But this is, the highest number is four. So we'll just label them up to four, right? This is zero, zero. And then we'll just go up to four. One, two, three, four. And now on the negative part, or on the left side of the X line is the negative part. So you label them with negative numbers. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And then Y. One, two, three, four. And then down here is negative. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So all you do is put these dots on this line, on this graph, and you might need to make a line because what you want to find is the y-intercept. You want to find out where your line crosses y. So we'll put these dots down and then we'll make a line and see where the line crosses this line. This is the y-intercept. So wherever the line crosses here is our answer and we're going to put it in our answer grid here. So we know it's going to be right in here somewhere. One of these. We're going to just write right over these numbers because we know that that's the y line. Alright, so 3, 0. Remember the first number in a coordinate pair is telling you where it is on the x-axis, telling you where it is from left to right. So it's 3. So positive 3 is over here. And the second number tells you where it is on the y-axis, how far up or down you go. Zero. We don't go anywhere. It's just right here. The next number, four. One, two, three, four, negative two. So we go down two. One, two. It doesn't have to be exact. Just give you a rough idea. The next one, zero, negative three. So we don't go anywhere left or right. We stay right here on the y-axis. And we go down three because it's negative three. One, two, three. So that's our answer right there. We don't even need to keep going. This is the y-intercept. It's right on the y-axis. So we can bubble that in on our answer sheet. Negative three on the y-axis. So actually, if you want to, if you feel comfortable doing this, you don't even need to graph it. You could just look at the coordinate pairs you're given and see that, oh, this one, it's zero on the x-axis. That means it doesn't go anywhere to the left or to the right. That means it's right on the y-axis line, right? Because we don't go anywhere here or here. We go straight up or down. And on this one, we go down three because it's negative three. And that's our answer.